Hello beautiful people and welcome to your weekly guidance and this is for the week of the 14th through to the 20th of February 2022. Just to let you know and I'm going to be doing this starting the following week on the 21st of February for the collective message only I'm going to be doing a free giveaway once a week I'm going to pick a random person that has commented and subscribed on the video to give them gift them a download from my website of your choice you need to watch the collective reading subscribe comment and comment which download you would like to receive this is my way of giving back to you so, without further ado let's move into the messages for each of the 12 signs hello scorpio welcome thank you for being here i really appreciate you popping into my channel right let's see what's going on for you my lovelies let's see what's going on all right we have the page of wands the Ten of Wands, Eight of Swords, the Sun, the world as your central energy. Happy days. Two of Cups, Queen of Coins, King of Coins, ooh, and the Ace of Wands. Oh, we're liking this. All righty, let's have a little looky okay oh yeah this is lovely let's see what's coming in from the soul connections cards what do we have in love for scorpio please okay we have signs watch out for signs leading you to true love and from the unicorns okay cosmic diamond number 30 Spread hope and joy, illuminate the world. Okie dokie. Right. Let's have a look. Let's start in the center with this beautiful world card. Scorpio, you did it. You did it. This is a celebration. Look at him with his arms open, looking at the world, saying, I did it. I want to swear, you know, <laughs> I fucking did it, you know. Um, so you did it. What is it that you've done? It's going to be different things, different people. It's a general read, but you did it. This is a completion of a major cycle that you have been going through that has been, with the Ten of Wands above it, a hell of a burden, a struggle. It has felt like you are scrambling through barbed wire. It has felt a burden, a weight on you, and that wants to come to an end. Now, it's next to the Eight of Swords, which says there is some stuck energy. We'll have a look at that in a minute. But this struggle wants to come to an end. So we've got the Page of Wands. Now, whatever the struggle is for you, Scorpio, is going to mean be different for different people so this could be a struggle that you've been looking for love forever and it just hasn't shown up but we've got the two of cups with the ace of wands here so this absolutely could be showing up especially with the signs coming in as well you could be getting out of a stuck space that love has not been there it doesn't have to be love it can be something you love uh, loving yourself self-love all of that good stuff all right but the page of wands is all about opening up to new passion. Now this can be new love, new passionate love, but it can be anything that you're passionate about. It can also be opening up to a new job. So it's not the job starting this week, but it's possibly the advert coming out this week and you think, I like the look of that, I'm going to apply for that. This is the beginnings of that coming in. And it's very positive because we have the sun underneath with the queen of coins. So the sun, of course, as we know, the most optimistic, positive card in the deck. It is shining brightly. It is you having the light on you, the sun on you, glowing up, showing up, creating this new opportunity that is going to close off something that is done and dusted. Now, Queen of Coins, a beautiful energy of success, financial abundance, security. She has vision, this woman, which is why she has the, the beautiful um, third eye glowing, lighting up. I have a vision. I know where I'm going. This is a Virgo card, but it's, 
enhancing and harnessing those energies. Talking of which, these are energies for the week, not necessarily predictions, but the energy is there for you to grab hold of. And it's very, very positive. And she's next to the King of Coins. So for me, as I'm looking at the combination of these cards with the Two of Cups and the World, and the Page of Wands leading through this closure to this Ace of Wands, this new beginning, next to the King and Queen of the coins. When we see the King and Queen of the same suit, it's a dynamic couple. This can absolutely be new love coming in, ending the struggle of being on your own. As we look through this way, the Queen of Coins through the world to the Eight of Swords, there's still a little bit of finishing off. Sorry guys, but there is. The Eight of Swords is a stuck energy. Now, if you look at it closely, she's in like a spider's web, right? She's blindfolded, but she's got eight swords that are all very sharp and she could easily cut away that spider's web. So what are the blocks within you? right now have a look at unlock my block program unlock your block program for love right if if you're finding you want love is not showing up have a look find out what are those blocks within you it doesn't have to be in you it can be around you in your environment but this love for those of you single wants to come in now for those of you coupled up has your relationship been in mm, in struggle in a burden we want to release that and get back to a new beginning all right even with the same couple we are constantly evolving our relationships and growing you know we go through storms and norms and we kind of figure things out with the ups and downs and every time we go through a down and we come out the other side still together we're a little bit stronger and we go into a new beginning so this central row, that Ten of Wands, that struggle is coming to an end and we're coming into this great place of security. The King of Coins is very influential, affluent, prosperous, successful, grounded, secure. We want that security in and around you. And this final row, we've discussed this Eight of Swords, but underneath we have the Two of Cups, which is the lover's card, the love card. This can be soulmates coming together. This is also self-love, all right? Looking after you, caring about you. Have you been a little bit stuck in your self-love and self-care? Is it time to have a fresh start with yourself? Your first relationship is with you. Now, that Ace of Wands wants to come in. This beautiful, passionate, powerful new beginning. So we're going to look for the signs, Scorpio. Look for the signs. Watch out for the signs leading you to true love. Be open to those signs. And the cosmic diamond spreading hope and joy illuminating the world as you light up. As you light up with that sun here that we have, you start to be seen, noticed, recognised. When we're looking for love and we walk around with a dark cloud around us, we don't get noticed. Um, and if we do, for all the wrong reasons. But when we're walking around in the light of the sun, shining brightly in this beautiful energy of hope and joy, that is what attracts more beautiful things towards us. So there is a shift here towards something much, much better, but there are a few little tweaks, you know, dot your I's, cross your T's, have a look at what is going on that's holding you a little bit stuck because it wants to come to an end. Let's find out a little bit more, Scorpio. Now, this, as I said, can be new love within your existing love, but this can also be about jobs, money, income, business, because the king and queen of coins are here. Um, so moving from struggle with your business into something, a new beginning, new clients, new contracts, new beginnings, all right? Let's find out some more. Tell me more for my Scorpios, please. Thank you. Okay, we've got the Seven of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Ace of Wands again, right? Look at this. This is beautiful. We've got this lovely new beginning that wants to come in, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. Okay. 
so let's look at this this is just beautiful six going through the seven we're getting into an energy of receiving because we haven't been receiving very much at all seven of swords is mm, it's disappointment it's a card of mm, strategy and focus it's leaving behind what you no longer need he's gathering his five swords up he's leaving the other two behind now these two could have been in a battle particulars is next to that ten of wands you could have been arguing with yourself or your partner or somebody else there may have been some deceit some secrets some deception you've talked it through worked it through and you're off okay you can't leaving it behind you and moving into an energy that is much more balanced much more fair this is a card of generosity of being open to receive it's on that eight of swords so we want to receive the answers of what we're stuck with have i not been receiving enough attention value affection um Am I not receiving enough money? Um, am I not being appreciated at home or at work? Because this is the balance that wants to come in now to say, yes, you are appreciated, you are valued, and I am now giving you more. We're moving towards that three of wands, which is your ships coming in. It's a card of expansion, of growth, of trips and travel yes but this is about dreaming big what do i want for myself because i want more i've got the four of cups here at the bottom saying it's it's okay you know it's okay it's not disaster but um i could do with more all right wanting more similar message to libra you know their message was wanting more and getting it and you can too because you've got these two aces so we are expanding and growing towards this new beginning and this is a gift from god the hands of the universe gifting you this finishing that ten of wands ending that struggle and coming into a brand new fresh beginning that is going to be more bringing more of that satisfaction bringing more that four of cups is on the king of coins and the ace of wands it's saying well you know work hard and it's okay but i would like to have more money more appreciation to be more valued as i say work or home whatever this applies to you and you are sowing the seeds for the future with this the seven of pentacles is the harvest card she's got a ladder ready she's got a basket ready to pick the fruits of her labor so you've put the work in scorpio you've put the work in and you're ready to receive now moving towards this new beginning closing out we've got the ten of wands closures the world major closures and these two aces ace of wands that wants to come in to bring you this beautiful passionate new beginning so get in that sun energy get in that hope and joy energy look for the signs and bring in this abundance this new energy that wants to come in all right final message for my scorpios from the angels please final message final message okay believe in dreams look at this right in the center on top of this three of wands which is the expansion of my ships coming in they're saying believe in your dreams you are bigger than you know you are brighter than you know allow yourself to be infinite the infinite symbol there infinity you are infinite your dreams magnify your desires so dream big scorpio your ships want to come in let's be open to receiving them and any stuck energy of it's not coming it's never going to come that needs to go it needs to go and to get into this hopeful joyful positive energy which is what's going to bring it in for you all right Scorpio that is what I have for you thank you so much for being here I truly appreciate your time on my channel if this video did help give it a like a share a thumbs up all that lovely stuff and if you haven't already do subscribe and check out your moon and rising as well Venus and for cross watching if you want to do that too and I'll see you next week take care bye bye